So you're very welcome to Educo Gym Live's relaxation with Tom McKenna. Thank you very much for joining us. If this is the first time that you've joined us for relaxation, I think you're in for a treat. Uh, relaxation is such an important part of everything that we do, and it adds so much value to the training and nutrition. And uh, if you weren't, if you were with us last week, we talked a little bit about how it would impact training, how it has an effect on stress. But now today we're going to talk a little bit more about how it impacts your diet, nutrition, everything from digesting your food. And I'm going to introduce Tom. Tom McKenna, you're very welcome. Thank you very much for joining us again on a Thursday night. No problem, Jamie. I'm delighted to be here. And I hope everybody out in the stratosphere is having a good time. And uh, we, will, we will basically have a little look at... Um, how to maybe improve matters with regard to how we absorb our nutrition and how we take food on board and um, the difference it makes to be relaxed about it. Now, it's something that we're very familiar with. Uh, in my former life as a therapist and healer, um, you were faced every day with the problems associated with stress because stress can uh, produce very minor problems like nervousness, all the way up to very serious problems where the person would have, um, well, they, they, they might be have a, have a life-threatening version of a disease and stress might be the underlying cause for a lot of that. So when you were um, looking after a person or people in that particular area, uh, the whole idea was to get them to relax and primarily uh, to relax because everything that they were involved in was affected negatively by the stress that they were under. Now, I, I don't think uh, people are too unfamiliar with the idea of stress, particularly during this year, which was a rather unusual year for the whole world. Um, so I think that it's, it's probably appropriate that we tackle it, that we look at it, we deal with it. Um, and just one of the associated problems with regard to stress is that you, you affect how well you digest your food and absorb the nutrients from the food. Um, and this is something that is very easy to control and very easy to change. So that in itself can have a very dramatic effect on how well you feel and a very dramatic effect on how your health will be in the future. And yeah. this is an issue that I, I think people possibly don't realize that they, they just need to tackle stress on a fair, on a day to day basis. Uh, a certain amount of stress is no harm. It, in fact, it can be very exhilarating and you need to, um, when you're faced with projects or situations that you have to face head on and so on. Well, it's your whole system is designed for short-term stress, not really designed for long-term stress. Nobody's system is designed for long-term stress. And um, so for most people, unless they understand the mechanism uh, for dealing with stress, they're in a constant state of stress, minor or major, depending on, uh, you know, depending on, on how much you are prepared, I suppose, to, to tackle it. A lot of the time, I think people just don't understand how to do it, um, which is why I suppose my favorite, one of my favorite subjects is relaxation, because it can, it can have a dramatic effect on so many areas, but particularly in relation to stress. So um, with the relaxation, the, I was talking to you last week about the idea that if you are, um, under stress or under pressure, you will find that it, it closes down uh, mechanisms within the body, even the parts of the body that are that just naturally work on their own without any input from us. We cut across it and we kind of interfere with it. Um, so the body can't naturally look after itself properly. It does its best but it can't really look after itself properly. So we're kind of interfering, if you like, with our natural health uh, through being stressed. Now, the way, the, the most, I suppose, 
the part that, sorry, most people maybe don't understand is that the stress kind of locks down the flow of life force within the body. Okay, yeah. what is life force? Life force is the, the energy that motivates and activates the body. And if it wasn't there, we wouldn't be here. In other words, you know, when you finally move on to, to the next realm, um, your, your energy leaves the physical structure that you're now inhabiting and it no longer operates as a physical body. So your energy is very, very important. And the amount of the energy that you express, okay, decides your health. And your age has really got nothing to do with it. And um, I always find it fascinating that people who are, um, I suppose, engrossed passionately in a project or a life project tend to be very, very animated, very uh, happy, very um, energetic, right up to very old age. They seem to be able to maintain that level of intense energy right up to the very end. And I guess if you have that level of energy and that spirit, um, at that stage, you will be looking forward to living to a ripe old age and you would want to and be encouraging yourself and others to do the same. And I'm always fascinated by that. So relaxation is like a key into a door and the doorway is access to that reservoir of energy that animates your body and animates your mind as well. So it, it's the animating force, it, it gives you life. Um, and if you're stressed, you keep closing off the avenues for it to flow. And the person then, when they're very stressed, will say to you, I have no energy whatsoever. I, I'm falling asleep all the time. Um, I, I just, I'm worried all the time. Um, everything is bothering me. I don't feel so good physically. I can't really digest my food. Now, all of those things, if you have a fair amount of stress, are fam you're very familiar with them. Now, the problem with it is that if you don't tackle it, it ramps itself up. So eventually, um, different mechanisms within the body um, become kind of almost injured by it. If you can imagine, like some organs may become injured, they won't digest the food properly. And that passes on a problem where your digestive tract is not taking raw material out of the body. Um, it's hanging around for longer than it should. And it, it moves through the system and it poisons it to some degree. So all of this sounds, I'm sorry, a bit dramatic, but if you understand the value of the relaxation with regard to your overall health it is like a magic bullet for for turning your health around no matter how bad you are or what the problem is the relaxation will make a massive difference to how your physical structure and you mentally uh, cope with that particular problem now i appreciate that some people and i've had to uh, deal with people um, who were having a tough time, basically, and they, their problems would be, by any standards, very difficult to deal with. So I'm always, you know, when I'm talking to people like that, I'm always trying to explain to them, look, the, the process, the mental process that you normally use um, has to a large degree anyway, uh, not certainly not helped your situation and may have contributed to some degree to it. So you're now in the business of actually transforming yourself. And the first thing you do is you start to um, learn how to switch off the mechanisms in your mind that produce stress. OK, so when I was working, as, you, as I was telling you, as a therapist and a healer, you would have you know, over a week, I would have hundreds of people come along with various problems. And my, the, the largest part of my job over that week and two and three and four weeks from when the person started was to get them to relax. And the, the more serious the problem was, the more 
you know, stressed out they were, under, totally understandably. But as they learned how to relax, they found that various symptoms that they had, maybe pains that they had, uh, inability to sleep, uh, all sorts of problems associated with the, the, um, the problem they came in with would start to dissolve. And once they found that they were getting some relief from that, they were able to allow themselves to go into an even deeper level of relaxation. So what you will find is, and it, it's a very interesting uh, thing that when you move into the relaxation, that energy comes up through the system. And it's almost like you're handing over or handing back the mechanism of healing, the, the mechanism of maintaining the body and the mind back to the life force inside in the person. You're, you're, you're saying, look, I'm making a terrible job of this. I'm interfering with it. I'm freaking myself out. I cannot handle this anymore. And now I've made myself sick. So by learning how to relax, what you're actually doing is you're handing back the controls to your own life force inside. It has no difficulty with it. And it immediately then begins to move into uh, this kind of like a rescue mode where it starts to repair everything and starts to clear out any waste materials out of the system, starts to move through all of the different, uh, the glands, the digestive tract, the, the heart, the liver, the kidney, and it just motivates all of those organs again and brings them back to health. Now, it's, it's not something you just go click and there we are, it's done. It will take a period of time, but it has a very dramatic effect. I mean, really tremendously effective. And don't, when you're starting off or you're, you're doing this for a little while, sometimes there's like a healing crisis, if you like, where the person starts to feel maybe, you know, more pain or less well initially. That's not something to panic about just that you just allow you go into the relaxation maybe spend more time in it or spend more time during the day doing the relaxation and flood the system with that energy as many times as possible and that then eventually it like it, 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 it kind of like fills the cells with that life and the minute the cell the cells are full of that life or the, the energy or life moves into the cells it starts to bring it back into a balance into its natural state of health. So that's what you're actually doing. You're, you're learning how to allow your own life force inside that, that energy um, that, and that force of life that is the animator of the body, that keeps the body alive and keeps it in very good health. You're, you're allowing it to look after the body again. And once you notice then that starting to feel better, that your digestive system is actually absorbing nutrients better than they were. And if you notice when I'm actually going through the relaxation mechanism, I'm just telling you, explaining a little bit about what I say. And that's why I say all that, because you're handing back the, um, the reins to your, to your own animating force that energy, that life force that you have inside. And the, the more you notice then that it seems to be having a positive effect, the more you hand over and the quicker it gets. So it starts getting faster and faster and faster. And as you go on, the longer you're doing the relaxation, the more animated the body and the, the mind becomes. And to be honest with you, once it gets to a certain point, it's like it's spilling over from you to everybody else as well. And they're kind of picking it up from you as you're rambling around. I mean, you could, you could sit in a bus and it's just coming out of you and going out to other people and helping them. It's like you've, you've allowed it so much to be available that it, it can just keep going out. And that's, believe it or not, that's the natural movement of life that it, it goes from the person out to everybody else and it animates them and causes them to feel well. And as it moves out, so in other words, you realize that 
the relaxation is the key to freeing out that life force or animating force. And it then has a movement of its own, which allows it then to move out from you to other people. And that animates them and that allows them, it's almost like when it, it, it affects them in such a way, they begin to relax almost automatically without ever hearing about relaxation. They just start to relax and then their own animating force and life force begins to be generated or strengthened. And it, it activates that and lets it get underway. Yep. And the person may not even ever know why that happened, but that's what happens. It's almost, um, people are probably aware of that uh, when they've been in uh, the company of somebody who's uh, very high energy or has that high level of presence and um, their state is almost transferable. So I think, you know, yeah. people, when you think about it, you, you probably can think of a situation that you were in or wh whether you caused that to happen when you when yeah. you're like that and, and it really does pass to other people. And, and obviously the opposite is true if you're, hanging out with somebody who's maybe in a very low uh, state, that can also be transferable. So it makes logical sense. I, I always love the connection between, even from a language point of view, that stress is really connected to worry. And I think worry comes from an Anglo-Saxon word, which means to choke. And uh, that will tell you a lot about the effect that it has on your system when you're, when you're really highly stressed. Yeah, I, well, in that particular case, that the language describes it perfectly, you know, so it, it is the, to choke or strangle and the, it strangles the life out of a person. And people know this. This is why they're not happy to be in a stressful state and they're trying to do anything they can. Uh, so I think the relaxation from that point of view anyway can have a massive effect. And because of that, then you will find over a period of time, you will notice that your, the food that you eat is being almost absorbed and directed through the body by the life force itself. So that's, it's, that's how it always works normally, because that's a mechanism that's outside of our control, except our version of, of uh, control is stress. So we get, and all we seem to do is interfere with a natural mechanism, which left to its own devices, will work perfectly well and give you perfect health. I mean, the other side of the, of the coin is something that Martin uh, talks to you about, and that is nutrition. That's a whole other area um, because you can't expect the body to function well on poison. It's not going to do very well on that and you're never going to feel your best. And I wouldn't really personally like to um, ask my life force, as people do all the time, to help me digest, forgive me, the slop that they throw down their neck day after day. And then they're kind of saying, God, I don't feel so good. I'm, I'm kind of going, I don't know how you're alive. <laughs> it fascinates me because, and it's a credit to how incredible the life force is that you are still alive in some places because of the stuff that people, anyway, that's me getting a bit carried away because I'm a nutritionist, clinical nutritionist. So all that stuff is of, of immense interest to me. Um, and it's, it's, it's a never ending quest for uh, an understanding of what foods allow the greatest expression of the life force inside and what foods bury it and so I'm always checking that out and you know I'm very fascinated by that and when I was uh, operating in the uh, in the healing end of things every single person that came along got a nutritional program that was why I was a clinical nutritionist and I was operating on the basis that certain foods um, suited certain situations and certain foods didn't and so on. So people were on a program nutritionally, they were on a relaxation program as well. And the whole thing was designed to increase the amount of life force available. So that's what, if you like, healing is, that's what living is. You're always trying to get as much energy as you possibly can available to you. Um, and the, the relaxation then is designed to free that out during the period of time that you're relaxed. 
you are not stressed. Now, okay, at the beginning, you may not be able to shut your mind down for more than five seconds. And guess what? You're sitting there and you're, you're, you're just as stressed as you might have normally been, except for the few seconds that you managed to do it. But as you move on and as you practice, you get better and better and better at it. And as a result of that, then you will find that your energy levels keep improving. Your digestive system becomes, um, you know, incredibly well able to uh, handle the foods that you give it. And you'll notice that the cellular structures and so on respond well to this extra nutrient going into the system and you feel so much better. Um, and then as the, the energy increases again, you've got all that energy available to your mind. I mean, an area that is, is fascinating and it's not something that I'm going to, you know, cover, but it is interesting that um, as the energy passes through the mind, the energy itself has um, like a pattern in it of perfection. And it's like it imprints that pattern on the, the mechanism of the mind. And you find that you are, your thinking process improves dramatically. So in other words, you're not depressed as to any degree like you were before. And on, to be honest with you, unless you're freed out and you have a lot of energy or life force expressing itself, to a large degree, the person is depressed because they're using a tiny, tiny, tiny fraction of their mind. And they're, they're trying to live their life with a tiny fraction of their mind. And that's depressing for anybody. So, so in other words, the relaxation then is the key to accessing that life force which then transforms you physically and mentally. Naturally, if, you know, if you're coming along to the gym, the idea in the gym is that when you're focusing on the training for the 20, 25 minutes, you will notice that because there's nothing else going on, that at the end of the, of the 20 minutes, you've got more energy than you did when you came in. Some people would stagger in the door after a day's work and say, oh, I wasn't even going to come today. And then they're running out the door saying, ah, oh, this is like unbelievable. But because of the ability to focus on just one thing, you drop all the stress and that frees out the energy and off you go. And that's the, that's the idea of the training and using more of your mind. The focusing part of using more of your mind frees out your energy. Yeah. And that's what you know, I was saying that at the, the last day when I was talking to everybody that um, when we did the research, the people on the, 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 the people who were doing the, the work where they were using the mind, they were able to lift heavier weights. Whereas the people who weren't doing that were, they did really well, but they, they were lifting what they would call the standard weights that they always lifted. Whereas the other group because they felt energized, felt that they could lift much heavier weights. Yeah. And that's directly from the amount of energy they had available to them, which was from the idea of focusing on the muscle that they were working, which causes you not to be thinking of anything else, which is called stress. Yeah. Anything else is called stress, okay? So you get in there and you do that. Um, and that's how, that's how the, the training in the gym can have uh, a similar effect to relaxation, except that it's a very active form of it, but it works exceptionally well. And people are always saying that, that they are energized by the, the, the training and they love it from that point of view. Yeah, we, we, wanted to, we wanted to cover both aspects. So last week was very much about the effect that it could have on your training. Yes. Because when you really apply more of your mind, you lift the heavier weights and that impacts your hormones. And then from the point of view of uh, the nutrition, how that would also affect you, because when you can lower that level of stress and get the relaxation, get your energy coming up, and then you really do get so much more out of your nutrition. So the combination of how it's involved in the training and then how it's involved in your diet makes such an enormous difference. And this is really stuff that you learn. You learn so much about this, actually, when you do the Educo seminar. And it's important just to mention that because uh, a lot of what we're talking about, it's really information that we would have learned from doing the Aduco seminar with Dr. Tony Quinn. And um, 
you're really learning about how to access more of your mind, how to get it to relax, how to how to really get it to work for you, as opposed to what often people find is from time to time or all the time, their mind is working against them. And it's really how to um, how to learn how to quieten that down so that then it's uh, it's really an asset. Well, I, I, in fairness, um, we're covering, um, which can be very constructive, but a very small amount of this territory. Absolutely. And this territory is called how you operate yourself for best results. <laughs> and most people, unfortunately, you're born into the world and you don't really come with any instructions hanging around your neck, which is a pity. So we end up wandering around wondering, wonder if I did this and I wonder if I did that. So um, the, the seminars are, I suppose, if, if this territory is of interest to you, um, and it should be because it's all about you. So if you wanted to take it any further and you found that you were doing very well, I would honestly say, well, then I'd say you'd find that, that uh, territory fascinating enough to spend 10 days with us and look, you know. And, and I, I appreciate it sounds like, okay, you're, you're now, you know, um, putting in a spoke for the seminars. Well, I, I don't, I never really have any problem with that idea because the, what I'm discussing with you has been my life's work and it's been Dr. Tony Quinn's life's work. And we are really, really interested and Tony is totally interested in the idea of sharing it with everybody. And the seminars are designed to do that. And I think people will find it fascinating um, to understand themselves more than they possibly do now. And it certainly takes a lot of stress out of their situations. Absolutely. So will we kick into the relaxation? I'm sure the, the yeah. that people that are looking forward to that part. Me and yeah. 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 So I, I, in other words, I've kind of explained to you why I take the relaxation through the different stages. So we're going to do that now in the in the actual relaxation itself all right now if you're um of course i mean there's no point in me i presume you understand this but i better say it i i don't want you if you're listening to this somehow or another driving along the motorway i would like you to turn off the thing now and do it when you get home okay so you need to be in a relaxed position um either lying down or sitting down and Ideally, where you don't feel that, you know, you're going to be interrupted in any way for about a half an hour or so. So that would be very nice. So if you just lie down on the ground or lie down on a bed or sitting in a chair and just close your eyes now. All right. Now, you know, for the whole day up to this point in time, You've been kind of, you know, using your mind in various ways. You may have some concerns or issues and so on. Now, what I'm asking you to do, I suppose now, is to put them aside for the moment. Um, you can pick them up on the way out if you want to. Maybe you won't want to bother. But for the moment, we're just going to leave them at the door and we're not going to bother with them. And you will notice that if you've been doing the relaxation for a while, even a little while, that as soon as we get ourselves ready for the relaxation, you notice an energy in your body straight away. You'll feel it in your hands, you may even feel it in your feet, or you may feel it running up into the head. It's just that you, as soon as you let go of the thoughts that normally produce tension, that frees up the energy straight away. It's very instant. It's, there's no waiting around for it. It just happens instantly. So you're stretched out on the ground now. You put your hands down by your sides. The palms of your hands are facing upwards. Tuck your chin in. Let your feet fall off to each side. You're sitting in a chair. Your feet are flat on the ground and your hands are on your lap, the palms of your hands are facing upwards. And don't join your hands together and don't cross your legs. That's really good. All right. 
Now bring your attention down to your feet. Letting go of any tightness or tension in your feet. Now you, you will find as we're going through the different parts of the body that some parts are holding on to more tension than others. Um, you just, you will observe that it's no big deal. It just the way you um, actually hold on to tension. So you will be letting that go anyway. So let go of any tightness of tension now in your feet. That's good. Bring your attention now to your calves. You're letting go of any tightness of tension in the calves now. Let it go completely. That's it. Let it go now. Even more now. Let it go now. That's really good. All right. Bring your attention up to your thighs. Any tightness of tension in your thighs, just let it go now completely. Let it go now completely. Let go of any tightness of tension now in your thighs. Just let it go completely. And bring your attention up to your hips now. Let it go of any tightness of tension in the hips. That's it. Just let it go now completely. Just freeze out that energy and freeze out the circulation in that area. That's it. Very good. Now bring your attention to the base of your spine. And any type of attention that you feel there, you're just letting it go now completely. And you're moving up along your spine, vertebrae by vertebrae, letting go of any type of attention now. Along the lower back, okay, up along the middle part of your back now, and right up into your neck, letting go of any tightness of tension in your neck. Let it go now completely. Let it go now completely. That's really good. Letting it go, letting go of any tightness of tension in your back. And it just, you'll find that your back is just sinking down into the ground or sinking in to the back of the chair because it's becoming so relaxed. That's it. Very good. And he types the tension now in the back of the head. Just let it go now completely. That's brilliant. Let go of any tightness of tension now in the top of your head. Just let it go now completely. Okay, now bring your attention to your forehead. Now you're just letting your let all the tension there just dissolve and your forehead is becoming smoother and smoother now. Very, very smooth. That's really good. Really good. Bring your attention to your eyes. Now, your eyes are just closed gently and just, they're just becoming more and more relaxed now. All the tension now there just dissolving. Bring your attention to your mouth. As you let go of any tension there in your jaw, your mouth, your mouth just opens slightly. And let's just let it do that. Any tightness of tension in your neck, letting it go completely. That's really good. And across the shoulders now, bring your attention across the shoulders. Let go of any tightness of tension in the shoulders. And that's an area that you can hold unconsciously tight. So you're just letting it all just relax completely now. That's brilliant. Let go of any tightness of tension down along your arms and right down into your hands now. And as you relax your arms and your hands, you'll notice like a tingling sensation in your hands as the energy is freed out. Could be like a heat or a tingling sensation. That's really good. Bring your attention now to across your chest, let go of any tightness or tension in your chest. Just let it go completely. Letting it go now. That's brilliant, let it go completely. Now bring your attention to your stomach. Again, an area that you may find you hold quite tightly. Now you're letting it go, let go, all the tightness there. Very good. Let go, all the tightness and tension there. It's really good. Very good. 
Now you're drifting deeper and deeper into relaxation. Deeper and deeper into relaxation. Each part of the body now becoming more and more relaxed. It feels like the body is just floating. You're drifting deeper and deeper into relaxation now. Feel that energy in the hands. Feel that energy in your feet. We're just bringing our attention now up to the top of the head. And in your mind's eye, you can see like an energy or a light in the top of the head. As it's building up and getting stronger and stronger now, it just sweeps down through the body and out through the soles of your feet now, out through the palms of your hands, moving through every single cell now, energizing those cells. And as it passes through the cells, it brings them back to perfection again. That energy, that pure life force has a pattern of perfection in it. And it runs through the cells, moving them back to absolute perfection. And you're drifting to an even deeper level of relaxation now. And you can still feel that energy. And we're bringing our attention back to the top of the head now. And you can feel that energy in the top of your head and you can see it now. And it's just moving right through the body now again, sweeping through the body like a wave of light, passing through every single cell, through every organ within the body, starting with the brain, right through, down into the lungs, into the heart, into the liver, into the spleen, into the digestive tract, kidneys, everything moving right through the whole body now, sweeping down through every single cell now. And the cells are just lighting up, getting brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter now. Brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter. And in your mind's eye, it's like the whole body is taking on this, this effervescent, like incredible tingling sensation. And the light is getting brighter and brighter and brighter. And it's like the whole body is lit up inside. All those multiples of millions and millions of cells all lighting up at the same time. Brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter now. Brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter now. Brighter. That's fantastic. Excellent. Now you're back up, bringing your attention back up to the top of your head. This time you can feel the energy very strongly and you can see it in your mind's eye. It's incredibly bright now. Very, very bright. This time now it's just sweeping down through the body, passing through every single cell in the body, moving out through the palms of your hands, out to the soles of your feet now and moving right out to everyone belonging to you. It sweeps right through them and out to everyone belonging to them as well. And it's going out in a huge wave of light, brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter now, moving over the whole globe of the world now, brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter now, brighter and brighter and brighter, stronger and stronger now, passing over the whole globe of the world now, transforming everything into itself, transforming everything into that light. Brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter now. Brighter and brighter now. That's fantastic. That's it. As it's multiplying itself, you feel incredibly well, filled with that light. And you're drifting to an even deeper level of relaxation now. Much, much deeper now. Much, much deeper than you've ever gone before freeing out even more energy now. You can feel that energy moving right through the whole body, starting now with the top of your head and you can feel it's like a ball of energy in the head. And as you're watching it now, it just sweeps down through the body, out through the palms of your hand, out through the soles of your feet, out to everyone belonging to you. And you can see it moving right through them and out to everyone belonging to them and moves out from that person, out to everyone belonging to them, moving out in a huge wave of light, brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter now, brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter now. That's it, over the whole globe of the world, brighter and brighter and brighter now. That's it, activating all the energy and life forces out in the, in the world. That's it, joining forces, becoming unified and stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger now, brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter now. That's fantastic. 
that's it. And you're moving to a much deeper level of relaxation now. And you will find that as you become even more relaxed now, that energy is passing through the body, increasing the natural circulation of the body. Now. And the circulation is carrying all the nutrients that the body needs and clearing the system of any waste material. So it's repairing all the tissue within the body now. It's moving to all the areas that may be uh, that need healing, that need to be repaired. And it's moving into those areas very powerfully now, stronger and stronger and stronger now. Don't ever worry if it feels like that area is responding by feeling a little bit strange or, or the pain increases briefly. That's normal because it's actually activating that area and it's repairing all the tissue in that area. And little by little, as you do the relaxation, that whole sensation will dissolve and go away. But it means that it's actively moving into those areas and repairing all tissue that needs to be repaired. That's fantastic. And anybody out there now who's got a, a problem or a situation that they are looking to resolve, all of that energy now is available and it will move out and take care of those situations on your behalf. And every time you do the relaxation, you will free out even more of that energy and it will move out to everyone that it, is, it needs to move out to. It's pure intelligence. It knows exactly what it needs to do. All you have to do is allow it out and it will just move out into the world and look after everything that needs to be dealt with. That's fantastic now. So you're drifting into a very deep level of relaxation, feeling incredibly well. And you will notice that as the energy intensifies, that you begin to feel exceptionally happy. You feel this happiness building up and getting stronger and stronger because it's like that energy is so intensive that it moves into that level of um, where the person feels everything is actually okay and they feel so relaxed that they just automatically feel very happy. That's fantastic. Now, in the meantime, between now and the next day that we speak, if you spend some time every day doing the relaxation, you will find that matters improve dramatically for you. And don't let anything concern you. And just, it's like you're, you're handing back the controls to, to life itself and you're letting it take care of everything on your behalf. That's fantastic. Now, as I count from three back up to one, you will find yourself gently and easily moving back up to the surface. But you're feeling really, really relaxed and really, really well. And you're taking with you now everything that you've experienced during this relaxation. And it stays with you throughout the week now. Two, gently now and easily moving right back up to the surface, feeling incredibly relaxed and very, very well. That's fantastic. As we're reaching one now, the eyes just opening and you're just coming right back up to the surface, but you're feeling incredibly well and very, very relaxed. That's fantastic, guys. Really, really good. There we go. That's great. Thank you very much, Tom. That's brilliant. No problem, guys. No Everybody's problem. feeling, uh, I'm sure, well, not only more relaxed, but just much more energized as a result of that. Because you, you really, yeah. 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 It's incredible when you when you really let go and you get this great level of energy coming through. It just it's a, it's a brilliant feeling, isn't it? Yeah, um, oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it really is. And I I think what's really I suppose fantastic. Often people are worried about other people, friends of theirs and their children possibly and whatever. And by doing the relaxation, they can fill the whole house with this energy. And the children thrive on that. And it, it started to dissolve 
strife and worries and fears within the household even, or with their colleagues, and they don't have to say anything about it, by just doing the relaxation, that causes a transformation within that area that they live. So th that part I think is actually quite fascinating. Yeah, yeah absolutely, it is 100%. Yeah. So um, we really hope everybody who joined us this evening, I know it's, uh, it's getting late, so thank you so much for, for joining us. We hope you enjoyed it. And we would love if you told people about the relaxation where we're gonna do them for the next couple of weeks uh, while we thrive during lockdown. And uh, we would love as many people to be involved as possible because we do think that it makes such a huge difference. And the more people that join in, the better, frankly. So uh, please do tell people about us. We, we'd love to have more people join us. And Tom, thank you very much again. It's no always, problem, always yeah. absolutely brilliant to uh, listen to your relaxations. It's magical. So thank you very much. Really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, thanks everybody for joining us. So until next week, goodbye. Yeah. Okay, bye.